me I've got Uno. Yeah. And I thought, are you actually kidding me? Then I thought, cool. I get to embark upon an international killing spree because all these punches that I land mark him. I know I've got the rapping ability to get you torched up with your crown rock like the Statue of Liberty because I can't lie, your shit. I wish I never had to clash you because you'll need an extra bag of banter to try and test this rapping standard because your career's been breaking bad. And I'm a better battle rapper because my name rings bells when I talk to him like Hector Salamanca. So <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Warhurst, <laughs> I think it's Ace who came in today. I think if we take Ryan's misbehaviour in a different way, we can see why he finds it difficult to participate with the games and things. But you know what? Let's begin. Okay. <laughs> so on May the 9th, he stayed behind because he threatened Mr. Davis' ni uh, life with a pastry knife. Uh, so we made him do 80 lines. <laughs> he turned up two hours early with a mirror caked in white saying, you can't swim for a crazy night. <laughs> Which I'm afraid to say was right. <laughs> Mr. Davis was never the same again. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Some man alike. Pedro made it. Metro page six. Forget me. <laughs> Forgetting two straight fists, I'm surprised he didn't come off looking better after getting his face lift. Could the way he got, could the way he got straight stiff and left on that stage hit, shit look like a stage hit. Like say a man was sent to attack like Naismith. Could the brace he was on stage with got stood there in amazement and let a next brace win. It's like he was lost while escapading the way he got rocked and then caved in. But wait, King, because ain't you meant to weigh in and then box, not get boxed and weighed in. You don't know the shit I went through to battle you. <laughs> Halfway into the flight, we ran out of packaged food. <laughs> but I maintain we did what we had to do when we ate that member of the cabin crew. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway into eating his legs, a woman from the back came through like, I found some extra sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> I fucking bored of the flight, I found a guitar and a man and fucking started a band. <laughs> it's all going well, this was part of the plan. We released three albums, they were eating out the palm of our hands. And this is it, due to creative differences when we started to land. <laughs> bored of the flight soon as I fucking boarded the flight. <laughs> Even turned around to fucking talk to a guy. I said, how you doing? He said, well, I turned 40 tonight. I said, congrats. He said, I was fucking born on this flight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say something, he won't want me crying out. And it's not something he's gonna take lying down. You are at one sec. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I got caught. Cool. Uh, quiet down. Hello? <laughs> Mum, yeah. Uh, it's not really the best time to be calling, okay? Because um, it's currently getting a little bit awkward on stage. No, 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 no. remember, I did already say I, I can't make going for dinner. I'm performing today. <laughs> Raptor. <laughs> Raptor. You don't know. <laughs> ones you said you'd rather miss. Uh, Mancunian. <laughs> They're not the one that battled Charlie Clips. I know we're getting to it. Right, okay. Uh, remember when we watched the title match? Yeah, half of it. Raptor is the one whose parts we skipped. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the one who looked like he was near death. Yeah, good point. Alright, the one without the beard then. <laughs> weird, weird head. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, he mentioned the posh stuff, but, you know, it's all in good fun. <laughs> right, yeah. right, you're, you're being quite talkative, Mum. Yeah, okay, alright, consider it already done. Um, so she said she wants me to call you a cunt. <laughs>